You ladies who like to express your style are going to love today's video. Welcome to Tip Tuesday. Today's topic is on fashion. I'm Tracy Hensel. I'm a certified professional coach and ICF credential holder. I help people just like you achieve goals. This even includes style fashion how you express yourself and how by what you wear, you share a lot about who you are. And I also help my clients to level up their etiquette skills. You can learn more about me on my personal brand website, as well as my coaching and consulting website. And if you would like some help portraying yourself with class, sophistication, and style, check out my coaching packages. I was inspired today to do this video and I actually made this decision this morning while getting ready. I am going to a bridal shower today and I am wearing this beautiful magenta sweater dress. One of the reasons I chose a sweater dress is because I did look up the venue and I can tell it's at a place where they often keep the temperature quite chilly and I get cold really easy and I really prefer to be warm. So while I have a lot of great dresses and skirts and blouses that I could wear to today's bridal shower, I want it to be comfortable and warm. So I chose this magenta dress, which is a beautiful color on me and it fits me very well. But today's topic is not about my sweater dress or wearing a color that is flattering for me. I do have plenty of videos talking about the topic. Today's video is on events that we should avoid wearing black to. I want to say wear the color black, but Black is actually void of color. It is no color at all, but I will share with you, whenever someone asks me what my favorite color is, I always come back with in what area, because it always depends on what we're talking about. For example, if someone says a car, I'm going to come back and say black. Well, black is actually not a color, but that is what I'm going to reply with. I love the color black in many, many things. Fashion and clothing is one of them. I love the color black. I am a winter, so I wear black very well. Winters are the only season that look amazing in black. And I have videos where I talk about choosing color or lack thereof for the season that you are because you are going to look the most flattering in it. But when should we avoid wearing black? Well, some of the events that I share with you today may surprise you, but if you are someone who wants to express your style and come off as a person, a lady, a woman with confidence and a lot of style, you will want to avoid wearing black to the events that I'm about to share with you. The first one, inspired today by a bridal or baby shower. Avoid wearing black to a bridal or baby shower. This is year round. This is year round. This is spring, summer, winter, fall. Bridal and baby showers should be more softer or more colorful especially because they most often take place in the later morning or early afternoon. Avoid wearing black to bridal and baby showers. The second one, and this may come off as a surprise, but avoid wearing black to a wedding if you want to stand out express yourself as someone with a lot of style, stand out in the crowd and look bold and confident. Avoid wearing black to a wedding. Now I know this is a tough one and many of you probably default to black and there's a lot to say about defaulting to black. Black again is a beautiful, do I say color? <laughs> 
I'm going to. It's a beautiful color to wear. Again, I love black. I look amazing in black. You can look back at many videos where I'm wearing black and I always get compliments. Makes complete sense. I'm a winter. I look amazing in black. But black is the go-to color for weddings. Most women will be wearing black. It's also very slenderizing, and we all know this, so be careful with the perception that can be behind black if you wear it all the time. If you're always wearing black, it can leave that perception, and maybe that's exactly what you want to do is minimize the mass of your body because black will minimize, so most women do default to that. But if you want to come off with someone who has a lot of style, then you want to avoid wearing black. If you want to minimize yourself and blend in, then go ahead and wear your black. It just depends on what your goal is. So again, I'm not saying you can't wear black to a wedding. It's if your goal is to be stylish, fashionable, come off with confidence in being bold. Now, does that mean if you're wearing black, you're not confident? I can't answer that. I'm just sharing. If you want to step out in your style, avoid wearing black to a wedding. I know many of you don't like hearing this, but I think it's a great tip. The third time, and this is a biggie too, black tie events. Avoid wearing black. Most people, a lot of women, believe that black tie means wear black. Well, it doesn't. It just means you're wearing a formal gown or a formal dress, so avoid wearing black because most women will be wearing black and you're not really expressing your style, you're not standing out in the crowd, and you're putting a lot of money into this beautiful gown, and you're putting perhaps some money into hair, makeup, nails, whatever else. You may as well look like a rock star, right? Avoid wearing black. The fourth event, or time when you should avoid wearing black is anytime you are going to a brunch, any type of luncheon, which again, bridal and baby shower would be included in that, or anything that is a daytime event. Avoid wearing black. It's just a very harsh color to wear. Color again, I know. It's a very harsh color to wear to these type of daytime events. You don't come off with someone with a lot of fashion and style taste when you're wearing black, especially during the daytime. So avoid wearing black to brunch and to any luncheons or daytime events. Now, many of you are asking, well, what about on the bottom? What about pants? No, avoid wearing black. Step into your power, step into your style and select something with color. Navy is a beautiful color to wear, especially if you are someone who is fair skinned, light hair and light eyes. Let's say you're fair skinned, you're a blonde and you're blue eyed. Understand black is not flattering on that, that look because it washes you out. It can leave you looking ill, pale, maybe under the weather. So navy would be your shade and navy looks beautiful on light skinned, blonde, light colored eye women. The fifth time or event you will want to avoid wearing black is any time you believe all the other women, or most of them, will be wearing black. So think of the LBD, the little black dress. If you are attending something or going out in the evening with your friends or maybe some couples, and it's kind of jazz it up and everyone's gonna probably be in an LBD, this is when you want to avoid the LBD or anything even close to it. Step into your power, step into your style, and put on a pop of color that is going to make you stand out and go pow. And even if you are heavier and you're not satisfied with the shape or size of your body, there is so much to say about women of all shapes and sizes wearing color. You look amazing. Wear clothing that fits your body and fits your body well. It, it really will elevate your style and you come off with just this boldness and this confidence. So step into some color. We all look amazing in color. It's finding what color looks best for you. Again, I have a video that's had 
maybe over a million views wearing your best color. That's a great place to start. I'll have it linked. Even if you're going out to dinner, let's say you and your husband are going out to dinner with two or three other couples and it's in the evening. I can pretty much guarantee you that most of these women, especially if they're middle-aged or around my age, they're going to wear black. Number one, a lot of women during the season of life that I'm in are not happy with their body and they often just aren't even putting a lot of value and emphasis on fashion because they're not happy with themselves. It's amazing what happens when people start to feel good about their body. They, they change. They dress differently. But you can still dress the differently while you're working your way to achieve that because you're going to look so much more stylish and elevated when you do. If Paul and I are going out with even one other couple to dinner, I am not going to wear black because it's highly probable she will. Now, that's not to say if I'm going out in the evening, I wouldn't wear black on the bottom. I may wear my high-waisted black leather trousers because they are chic and I love them, but I'm going to put some color on top, guaranteed. And again, I love black. I wear black quite often. In fact, I wear black around the house every day, all day. So I'm in black more than any other color. But when I step out and I want to look elevated and I want to look stylish, I'm often going to go after some color. Let me also back up. If you do wear black, so there is an, an exception to wearing black, let's say to a wedding. If you are wearing something that is not a dress and you want to wear black, I think that's the time. So if you're going to a wedding, wear a pantsuit or wear a jumpsuit. We went to a wedding about four years ago and I've rarely wore black to a wedding. I can't even think of another time, but about four years ago, we went to a wedding and I wore a black jumpsuit. And the top of it was lace, but it looked nude underneath. It was so stylish. I loved that jumpsuit. But do you know, I was the only, the only guest at that wedding and reception that had a jumpsuit on. So that's, that's when we can, we can kind of adjust the black rule is when you're doing something like that. And if you do wear black, maybe that's what you have and you don't want to spend your money on anything else, jazz it up with accessories. Again, put some style and sass to it. Try not to blend in if your goal is to look stylish. Again, this is all about your goals, so make sure you're listening, listening with intent before you maybe take offense, right? Because you're talking to someone who loves her black. Number six, if you're a mother of the bride, or you are anyone who the focus or spotlight is going to be on. If you're the one expecting the baby, you're the one getting married, you're the one in the spotlight. Let's say you've been nominated for something and you will be in the spotlight. Avoid wearing black. Everyone's going to be in black. You are to be in the spotlight. So this even applies for those high school girls or college girls that are attending some type of formal dance. Avoid wearing black would be my suggestion, but if you are on the court, on the queen's court, you definitely want to avoid wearing black. You want to stand out. You want to show some style. You want to look more elevated. You're supposed to be in the spotlight and you won't be if you're wearing black. Now let's shift gears for a moment and talk about when is black appropriate and when is it really pretty much a must? Well, I'll be happy to share those with you. The first one is quite easy, a funeral or going to a wake or a visitation. We always want to wear dark colors, but black would be the preferred choice for a funeral or something like that. Another time that black is the go-to color that you should wear is a job interview. Unless you are being interviewed for a position that's a creative, that would be the exception. Because if you are looking for a career in graphic design and you have a few interviews coming up, I think 
like you want to express your style because you're a creative. So I wouldn't wear black as your primary if you're a creative and that is what you're being interviewed for. But if it's a professional career of some sort, then you're going to want to wear black. The third time you will want to wear black and pull out all your black is if you are attending anything at court, whether your jury duty, whatever it may be, black is going to be the preferred color to wear for that. The fifth time that you will want to wear black is if you are doing a professional speaking engagement. If you will be speaking at something that's of professional or business, black is going to be your chosen color. Now, if you're a keynote speaker at something fun and lively, maybe a ladies conference or something of that nature, this is when you want to avoid wearing black. You are up on stage, you are presenting, and this is a time when you want to express yourself as someone who has style, class, sophistication, and a very elevated look. Well, there you have it. Events or gatherings or places that you may be going to or attending where you want to avoid wearing black if, if, Looking stylish, confident, chic, and elevated is your goal. If it's not your goal, continue to wear your black because you can wear whatever you would like. Now, you may be wondering, would I look at someone and think, why are they wearing black? No, not at all. Number one, I expect it. I expect that everywhere I go, the majority of the women are going to be wearing black. Again, I am leaving in 30 minutes to head out to a bridal shower. It is January, it's cold, there's snow coming down. I can pretty much guarantee you that I am going to see plenty of black at that bridal shower today. And do I sit there and think, ah, they shouldn't be wearing black, or ah, they have no confidence, or whatever could be brewing in your pretty little brain or pretty little head. Not at all. I'm in my own box, I'm in my own lane, again, I help ladies achieve their goals, whatever it looks like for them. So this video may not be for you, but it may give you another perspective, or maybe you know someone who would enjoy this video that you can share it with. But no, my daughters or a couple of them wear black quite often to almost everything. That's okay, that's okay. Would I ever say, you shouldn't wear black? Never have I told my daughters that. If they came to me and asked, then I may say, I would step into your power and wear some color. Color looks great on you. I think my daughters look great in color, but do I think that or would I say that? Absolutely not, I'm just not that person. If you're working with me and you're my client, we may have this discussion if it's part of your agenda and goals. I recently did a style session locally, well, I say locally, within about an hour drive uh, where I went into a lady's home and we did a style session, which is another thing that I offer. And she wants to step up in her style. She wants to portray herself a certain way. And that's the very first thing that I ask her, what are your goals? What do you want your clothing to say about you? And also, I have a workshop on how to dress and how what we choose to wear, what our clothes say about us. Check that out. You purchase it today, it'll be in your inbox today. But that's that's the thing it's not about me it's not about what i want it's what the client's goal is so when i speak to you here it's only for those of you that are really interested in hearing it but no i would never say why why are you wearing black right one thing i will say that i notice often is when you when you when there's a bunch of women that go out sometimes especially younger girls young young adult girls, young, young adult girls, young adult women, because a lot of times at that season of life, they really haven't gotten the confidence that us ladies that have a little bit more wisdom and are seasoned and we've been, we've been through life long enough that we tend to get more confident as we get older. But you may see a picture 
come up on Facebook where a bunch of girls went out, right? They all went out for the night and they're all dressed the same. Like, did they did they text each other and did they plan this and we're all gonna dress the same? We're all gonna wear ripped jeans. <laughs> we're all gonna wear ripped jeans. Like, no one looks different than each other. It, yeah, I, I do kind of go, huh. But then I remind myself, there could be a lot of lack of confidence going on. Yeah, yeah, it crosses my mind. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. So I wouldn't wanna do that. If I reached out to someone and said, hey, what are you wearing? And they said, I'm wearing my black leather high-waisted trousers and I'm wearing a cream colored or off-white blouse that has a little bit of black piping. I am going to wear the complete opposite. You're not going to see me show up in my black leather trousers, right? But a lot of times that friend that's texting to say, what are you wearing? They're asking so that they can wear exactly what you're wearing because they lack confidence in themselves. Don't be that person. So avoid wearing black if you want to elevate your style when it's not really the timing to be an elevated style type of gal. I will share a few pieces with you in the description box below of just black items that I love. Um, I'm just gonna pull maybe like 10, 15 random black pieces that I can share with you today because again, I do love my black. So hopefully this video helped those of you who are interested in hearing this today because it may give you another perspective like Wow, yeah, I really do kind of default. In fact, I'll share with you that when I do style sessions, one of the biggest things that I notice is there's too much black in the person's wardrobe. There's too much black and dark colors and drab colors. And often, they may not even be a winter. So they've got all these black tops, but they're not even a winter. They don't look amazing in black. They look washed out in black because they're blonde, blue-haired, light-skinned, and it's all black, right? What are we hiding behind? You're beautiful. Let's show that beauty. Let's show that beauty, right? Okay, long tip Tuesday video, but a really good one, and I'm sure many of you enjoyed it. Comments, suggestions, do you wear too much black? Do, are you familiar with some people in your life that wear black to everything? What are your thoughts around black? Do you feel that it, it kind of leaves a different perception? I read all the comments and I would love to hear. All right. Thanks for joining me for this long, lengthy, but very informative video. I'll see you right here on YouTube and be watching me on Instagram stories. Take care.